So the project we're going to be looking at when you come back and you start your GCSE in art and design is a really fantastic and exciting project called Amazing Architecture. Now there's four different areas to assessing art and design at GCSE and therefore we've split this knowledge organised book into those four different areas for you. So the top we've got AO1 which is assessment objective one and that's all about developing your ideas okay and you get 24 marks for that section. The next section is AO2 so that's all your experimentation and your use of materials and your use of media and then AO3 which is your recording so how you're recording all your ideas and your actual skill set in that recording as well so whether it's recording through drawing or photography or perhaps even from textiles work or painting and then AO4 which is presenting which is your final piece your final outcome it's basically your conclusion to your project so having researched and experimented and designed um, your AO4 is that that final piece that final outcome that that piece of work that you create that combines all your thinking all your thought process and all your research and obviously looking at how you have presented all of your work together as well. So it's 24 marks for that. So have a good look through this knowledge organiser. Um, the AO1 section has got some artist inspiration down there for you. So you can have a look at those artists there and what work they produce. There's some websites on there for you to have a look at as well. In the experimentation section, there's things that you can start to think about and how you would perhaps record buildings and how you so how you would draw them and how you put them down onto paper and different ways you can do that so that your work looks creative and then the recording section there it's again looking at how you put your ideas down on that page and how you record what you're thinking so do, do you have to necessarily draw the entire building can you just do a cross section or just do part of the building do you want to look at different um, types of perspectives. So they've got one point perspective there, two point and three point. Perhaps have a little bit of research into those as well. And there's some ideas down there for you as well on how you can also um, look at recording your ideas, looking at recording those different buildings and that amazing architecture that you can discover through your research. And then again, look for your AO4, it's using everything that you've researched in the theme to then present your work coherently and aesthetically so it all links it's in a logical order there's a beginning a middle and end to your project and everything you've looked at um, really fits in well with that project down the center there we've got some photography well photographs some photo photographic inspiration of different um buildings or architecture that you can have a little look at as well just to get some inspiration and think perhaps what has made those buildings or pieces of architecture so iconic. So then the next thing um, is looking at what we actually want you to have a go at and what, 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 what I would like you to do over the next um, few weeks before you return in September. So there's some different tasks on here for you. I've labelled them task 1A, 1B, 1C, 2A, 2B and then task 3. And first of all, develop an idea. So just want to um, create a mind map, really, with just 10 words describing anything you can see when looking at different buildings. What type of things do you notice? And just start to put those words down, just as a way to generate ideas. The next section is to take, some, take a set of 30 photographs. So perhaps go for a walk in a local area, or even if you can get into Birmingham City Centre, perhaps you might want to go there as well. And take 30 photographs of, if you do have access to a camera, um, of buildings. And think about perspective as well. And think about all these compositional devices that we've put in there for you. So this is the art knowledge organiser, but photography is a way of recording, which you do get marks for from the art as well. So don't just think that that is for photography, because it isn't. And then the section down there at the bottom is have a look if you can perhaps download an app such as Snapseed and then create 10 different edits. So use those 30 photographs that you've looked at, perhaps select your favourite and then have a go at experimenting and editing them. I think perhaps could, how could this relate to any research you've done? So when you looked at those original artists, 
Is there a way in which you can edit them to make them look like the style of the artist? Then for the next task is, I've put here, create a miniature book demonstrating various types of experimentation using lime. Now I just want you to get some ideas together and generate some ways in which you can work. So if you were going to record a building, what materials would you want to use? So perhaps I just wanted to use biro or a pencil and start to sketch loosely um, how you think you would record certain areas. You can look at those photographs that you've collected and start drawing from photographs. And the reason it says a miniature book, so think of if you had an A4 piece of paper and you fold it in, folded it in half so it's now A5 and you folded it in half again so it's now become A6. Just think about perhaps that size and just doing some small experiments and recording to really get you thinking about what marks you can put down onto the page. Then for task 2A, um, I just want you to start thinking about um, using typography, so remember using lettering which links to the theme and think about when you do present your work um, going through your GCC Year 9 folder, are there any key words that you perhaps wanted to write down such as architecture that you could write the word architecture in a stylized way that you can then incorporate and that can be stuck down onto one of your sheets as a key word that really links your project together. So think about if there's any of those key words from your initial mind map that you've looked at and then displaying your keywords on the top using that typography. And the last thing is select one of those artists from the list and complete a written analysis of their work. And there's a guide sheet on the next slide which I'll show you. When you do analyse artists' work, you can present it in a creative way. It doesn't have it doesn't have to be typed. You can type it if you want to. It still looks nice and neat and professional if it's typed. But you might want to handwrite it. You might find like a little luggage tag, or you might want to make a little luggage tag, or you might want to write on an envelope, etc. And all I want you to do is try and have a go at answering some of these questions here about the artist's work just to start developing some ideas and start, start that artist analysis which you'll get marks for. So read through these questions on here, think about describing the artist's work, think about how the formal elements have been used such as are there certain patterns or textures or colours that have been used. Describe perhaps how the artist has created that piece of work, how the image has been created and then talk about if there's a certain mood as well and does it represent a certain mood. Okay. Um, so all we need to do is have a go at working through those tasks and then come back in September with, with these tasks, hopefully that you've attempted or had a go at completing and that will make a good start for your year nine GCC project, for the project where we're going to be looking at amazing architecture.